He shot her twice. He shot the gun, I don't know how many times. But the first bullet went in and out. The second bullet grazed her cheek and tore off her ear and um, lodged itself in the back of her neck right here. A few months later, she had to have surgery. On March 14th of last year, an 18-year-old male shot Kenya Slaughter's daughter. Her daughter, Harmony, is artistic and could not describe what happened to her. Kenya is scared for her daughter's safety and is still affecting her today. A lot of us are affected every day and have to deal with this stuff. I took a pay cut and have to stay home. You know, I, I was demoted. Well, I, I chose to step down, but I had to do that so that I could be there for my daughter so nobody else has to worry about taking care of her. Sheriff Mark Wood believes his team has decreased the crime rate. They have made a total of 171 arrests in the past couple weeks. They have collected 31 weapons and seized 107 illegal drugs off the streets. Somebody shoots somebody, your family's destroyed and you destroyed the family that you killed. So we, you know, we got to hit them from all sides. This is the policeman side of it. We got to do, uh, we got to hit it head on and, and, uh, uh, you know, try to do something with crime. Jamila A. Binog is proud to work with a violent crime abatement team. She is focused on prosecuting these violent crime offenders and says they are doing everything they can to stop crime before it happens. And for the hard work that these guys put into a two-day operation, th those numbers are based on two days. That's a lot of hard work. That's a lot of uh, joint collaboration. And that's a lot of planning and preparation on the front end. She adds, violent crimes will not be solved by law enforcement alone. They need the public's help to get these criminals off the streets. I'm okay. We all are okay. The 16-year-old is okay. My daughter doesn't have a limp or anything, but the bullet is still lodged into her leg. Bottom line, these people say, when people stand up against crime, they can protect their community. Keisha Swafford, ABC 31 News, that works for you.